Well, hello everyone. This is Richard Kadish, owner and broker in charge of Go Gated Realty, Hilton Head Island and Bluffton, South Carolina. Today is January 6, 2019. Happy New Year, everyone. We're here today in Bluffton, in Hampton Lake, the award-winning freshwater lake community. And we're here at 24 Sweet Marsh Court to see this beautiful brand new home. We're gonna walk through it, see if it could possibly be for you. It has 2,411 square feet, four bedrooms, three bathrooms. Three of the bedrooms are on the first floor. One bedroom, one bath upstairs with a second floor balcony out over the lake, which is really nice. A big two car garage with an enamel floor, big screen porch out back, a lot of uh, beautiful interior finishes. Be interested to know what you think about it. Before we walk through, let's just take a look around the neighborhood here on Sweet Marsh Court. This home is listed at $665,990 with Hampton Lake Realty. I'm showing it to you as a buyer's agent with 43 years of Hilton Head Island and Bluffton real estate experience. And again, my name is Richard Kadish. It's K-A-D-E-S-C-H. My company, Go Gated Realty, like gated communities. And I'm the gated community specialist, ladies and gentlemen. And both Go Gated Realty and Gated Community Specialist are federally registered trademarks. And yes, Hampton Lake is a gated community with a 24-hour manned security gate, award-winning recreational amenities here for my upscale buyers including a, roughly speaking, 200-acre navigable lake. Uh, they have a beautiful um, recreation center with fitness center. The Lakeside Recreation Center has that. The boathouse, a restaurant, tennis courts, playground. They have a new uh, freshwater swimming lake at uh, the Crystal Lake uh, Park. They have a campground, they have a dog park. It's a beautiful place to live. Uh, I always enjoy coming over here. It's a favorite, that is to say Hampton Lake, of my upscale buyers. Well, this model is the Fairfield by Logan Homes. It's one of their showcase homes, mean, meaning that it's ready to go. We have a uh, covered front porch with the tapered pillars and the stone base. The front door is recessed out of the weather. We have a concrete fiberboard, clabbered style exterior, which is the state of the art. Let's go in and take a look. Well, my buyers love wood floors. And again, I'm showing you this house as a buyer's agent, ladies and gentlemen, with uh, 43 years of Hilton Head Island and Bluffton real estate experience. I don't work for Hampton Lake Realty or Logan Homes. I work for my buyers as a buyer's agent. We'll talk more about that as we go along. Over to the right here we have our second and third bedrooms. They're roughly uh, 14 by 14 in size. Tall doors. We have 10 foot high flat ceilings in this house and all houses in Hampton Lake as required by the building code here. The, the architectural requirements are for 10 foot high flat, flat ceilings. We have some beautiful crown molding around the top of most every room here. This is our second bedroom or third, depending on how you're counting, with a pair of windows here at the front. Good bedroom separation between these two bedrooms here at the front right of the house and the master bedroom on the left side rear of the house, as you'll see in a minute. Now between them we have our second bathroom with good quality. Cultured marble top, framed mirror, shower and tub with a beautiful tile surround, high window for privacy and light, a tile floor, comfort height elongated toilet. From our foyer right on through the living area here we have a beautiful wood floor which has the hand hewn look 
been popular for quite a while. It's that rough scrape look that has a little bit of texture to it. We have wainscoting in the foyer and all of this takes us through an archway into our living area. We'll go upstairs when we finish seeing the first. A fireplace to the left, which is certainly optional in our semi-tropical climate, but it has a bit of a traditional look to it with the shelves and the fireplace with the mantle. However, the floor plan is contemporary. Open to the kitchen with the one level island, the single dining area at the back right. That's part of a contemporary trend to do away with the formal dining area. And then out through this triple sliding glass door, which means it has three big panels. I've already opened the one to the right here. We have a huge covered and screened back porch viewing out to part of the navigable lake that forms this little cove where everyone in the neighborhood, including this house, has its own private dock. And the type of boats that people have, well, of course, they have kayaks and so forth, but the kind of pontoon boat that you see off to the distance to the right there, they're also called Turner boats. They don't go very fast, but they're lots of fun. And people on the lake here, of course, this is the some of the more expensive real estate in this community. And <clears throat> the size, quality, and location of the house is what supports the price. $665,990. $665,990. Very hard to buy a lot and duplicate a house of this size in new construction at this price here in Hampton Lake. But what a beautiful setting. We're going to get this view again from the second floor. The, uh, the yard is sodded and sprinklered. The back of the house is in the shade the way I like it. And most of my buyers too do too. You don't want to come out onto your back porch and get hit by the sun where you can't enjoy your outdoor living spaces. So we always look at the solar orientation of the home. And we'll just walk through this part of the house real quick. The kitchen looking good. Here's our dining area with a beautiful coffered ceiling. I will say that Logan Homes does a great job with its interior finishes. And look at this trio of windows here, viewing out onto this water view. I think that we could all Get used to that. And we have the table leg island where you can pull up some chairs or stools for that informal conversation and party. The one label level here is uh, granite, granite tops. We have Frigidaire Gallery stainless appliances. That is a true double oven in this house because our microwave is over the gas range, which is technically speaking propane. This is not a gas community. We have a traditional white subway tile splash behind our range, our propane range. Shaker style cabinets, white cabinets, the deep single piece farm style sink, the rub bronze swan neck faucet, all open to the living area, all open to the dining area. You provide your own refrigerator. You'll see when we get to the laundry, you'll provide your own laundry uh, washer and dryer as well. Good size pantry with wire shelving. Plenty big enough for just about everyone, I think. And the wood floor comes right on through this entire area. The fireplace too is a gas or propane fireplace. 
you won't use that much, folks, because in this semi-tropical <laughs> climate here in Bluffton, South Carolina, fireplaces are completely optional. You'll probably burn that just a few nights each winter. But many people, of course, like to have a fireplace, and that's what makes a house a home for some of my buyers. Well, here's a look back to the foyer and the stairway upstairs. There's an extra space over here for a piano or a desk or whatever you might like. Our master bedroom off to the right. Bathroom to the left. The bedroom itself to the right. And on our way to that bedroom, we have two big closets, one for him, one for her. And this builder builds with these hardwood ash shelves. You can add more. Two good sized closets. I like it. And here is our primary bedroom, sometimes called the master bedroom. The ceiling fan is already in place. We have a trio of windows looking out onto the water and your headboard will go over here at my back so that will be your view i think we could get used to that you have a recessed ceiling with crown molding in the recess as well as around the wall good looking bedroom it has the agreeable gray or touch of gray type of paint i don't know the brand but that's what's in today white woodwork and a, white, a gray tint wall and it's it's popular and with good reason it's a great color so we've got the double doors leading through to the bathroom and we have a shower to the left with a complete tile enclosure it goes all the way up the walls and across the ceiling we have a tile floor again with the gray tones so we have a separate tub and shower the frosted window for light and privacy. I like it. I think you will too. And over here, cultured marble top with integral basin for him and for her. The chrome is back because chrome and gray go well together. Big framed wall mirror, crown molding throughout the bathroom. We have a uh, good sized linen closet here. It's worth a look with the hardwood shelving. And let's take a closer look at this shower too. Has a bench in the corner. Same type of tile that we see on the floor. And in this case, it goes right up across the ceiling. I like it, I like it. You can see we have tall, panel doors, the rubbed bronze hardware is our theme. Let's go upstairs and see that fourth bedroom and bathroom. I think you'll like it. When you have that fourth bedroom or loft upstairs, it just gives you a little bit more versatility to your house. But if you're in retirement, you don't necessarily want to be climbing steps to get to a lot of your house. You want most of your house on that first floor. Well, look at this. Three big panels going out to the back second floor porch. Absolutely gorgeous. Some people call this a cascading door. Sometimes I call it a telescopic door. These two panels slide open. Lots of light. What a deck. Late in the afternoon here on January 6th. Your little corner of paradise here at Hampton Lake, if you should so decide. Well, that's part of what I do as a buyer's agent. I listen to your needs, talk to you about the type of location you're looking for, your budget, your timetable, the type of amenities that you want, need, and are willing to pay for. And we go out and we find it. We go out and find it. And as a buyer's agent, I'm here to help you in every way from start to finish and even afterwards. Helping you solve problems, answering your questions, giving you advice that you can trust. 
there's the lifestyle folks it's all about the lake now if you don't buy this house and you do live in Hampton Lake you can still go down to the boathouse and lease or rent a boat very similar to that for about twenty dollars an hour twenty five dollars an hour it's very uh, it's really a lot of fun very restful you and your friends and family can get on that boat and have a great time nice detail out here boy it's very quiet back here I like it so a large large room larger than any of the first floor rooms we have a walk-in closet since we're over here, I'll just show you the attic really quick because this house is very well insulated. Closed cell foam insulation, that's that gray material you see attached to the roof deck there. Well, that's blown in. It gives your roof extra strength. It doesn't burn, so it's fire retardant. The bugs don't eat it. Your air handler is up here in the attic. Now that closed cell foam insulation keeps your attic um, cooler in the summertime and saves your energy, saves your energy costs. It also seals up your attic so you don't have um, humidity in your attic. So your soffits are actually closed off. You don't get the traditional uh, soffit to ridge vent ventilation of your attic. It is sealed off, keeping humidity out, keeping it cooler. In this climate, we're more concerned than anything else about the hot, long, hot summers. We have very mild spring and fall seasons. We have very mild and brief winters. Today, it's pushing 70 degrees here on January 6th. I'm in short sleeves. And I have no complaints. Bluffton's a great place to live, ladies and gentlemen. I lived for 36 years on Hilton Head Island before moving over to Bluffton about seven years ago. I loved Hilton Head, but I love Bluffton. Hilton Head Island, a great place to vacation. Bluffton, a great place to live where you get more house for your money. Newer homes like this one. I certainly invite you to call or email. Let's get acquainted. Let's work together to find the right home and community for you. So please call, please email. I'm making this video to make you aware of this opportunity, but also to tell you that I'd like to work with you as your buyer's agent here in Bluffton, Hampton Lake, Hilton Head Island. Again, I have 43 years of local real estate experience, and I'm sure that I can help you in important ways to allow you to shop with confidence, to compare communities, compare builders, compare homes, whatever it takes, I'm here for you. So please call my cell number, 843-684-2933. I'll repeat that, 843-684-2933. My email address, rich at gogated.com. That's R-I-C-H at G-O-G-A-T-E-D dot com. My website is gogated dot com. You'll find me if you want to. I certainly hope you do. I'd like to work with you. So thank you. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, there are more at the Go Gated channel on YouTube. I certainly hope to hear from you and learn more about your plans and to work with you as your buyer's agent here in Hampton Lake, Bluffton, Hilton Head Island. Thank you again for watching.